As the chorus grows for Sanjay Dutt's pardon, there is one case that everybody has simply chosen to forget how convenient. The case of Zebun Isakazi, who was given the sentence of five years rigorous imprisonment in the Bombay Blast case. Kazi was found guilty of keeping an AK-56 rifle, ammunition and hand grenades at the instance of Anis Ibrahim and Abu Salim. She was also found guilty of abetting terror. It's a case quite similar to Sanjay's, but no one has come forward to demand clemency or mercy for Zebunisa. Five years rigorous imprisonment for Zebunisa. Not a single person has come forward to say anything for Zebunisa. Remember, her crime in perception is considered to have been even more detached than Sanjay Dutt's own. Sanjay Dutt asked for the weapons. He stored the weapons. He attempted to melt and destroy the evidence. Zebunisa, as her lawyer has said publicly, including here on headlines today, didn't even know that the weapons were stored in her house. She didn't make a confession ultimately. Yet, as part of the supply chain of the weapons that entered the city, she was sentenced to five years rigorous imprisonment. The sense is, if there can be a chorus to pardon Sanjay Dutt, a popular star, a cinema actor, why has no one stepped forward to speak for Zebunisa? And in just a moment from now, we're going to hear from Zebunisa's own daughter. Because remember, she's been watching what's been happening over the last couple of days since the Supreme Court verdict. And Zebunisa's daughter now joins us live from Mumbai. Thank you very much for speaking to headlines today, ma'am. I want to get your first reactions to what has happened as far as Sanjay Dutt is concerned. I'm going to ask you about your mother in just a bit. Do you think Sanjay Dutt should be pardoned? See, um, I don't want to talk on that because I just want to say that when the Supreme Court judgment came, I was totally shattered because I was expecting a quicken. I felt when the judgment came, I felt now this is the end, you know. Now my mother has to go cleaning bars at the age of 70, not sleeping well. I thought that or other kuch nahi ho sakta hai. I was like in a state of shock for two days. But when I saw on TV after two days working on the next day, help started pouring in support of Sanjay that like he should be pardoned, he is, you know, being punished and now he's already suffered for twenty years. So I said, My God, there, there is some hope, you know. If this can happen to Sanjay Dutt, if Sanjay Dutt can be pardoned, why not my mother? You know? I felt some hope. I said there is hope. If you compare my mother's case, I think it's on a much better footing. I said, if Sanjay Dutt can be pardoned, then why not me? So I was like, you know, I had some hope now. Yeah. Before I didn't. I felt that okay, now there is hope. I can save my mother. For last 20 years, I have been endlessly fighting to get justice for my mother. We have really suffered. She is now 70 years, not eating well. Two years back, she was operated. And uh, I felt now, at least, you know, after the judgment, I mean, we thought we'll get equity and we can start our life again. So you're saying, ma'am, you're, you're saying that it has given you hope that people are asking for people like Sanjay Dutt to be pardoned. It's given you hope that your mother should also be pardoned. That's what you're saying. No, oh, I am only concentrating on my mother. When I saw so much, Sanjay Dutt getting so much of support, I felt, and why not my mother? My mother also. The only evidence we had was the confession of a co -exist. you know. So I felt my mother's case on a much better footing. So my mother stands a much better chance for pardon. What does it tell you, ma'am? What does it tell you that, you know, so many, you know, powerful people have come forward to speak on behalf of Sanjidat, but nobody's come out on behalf of your mother and several others, you know, who've been indicted in this case. How does that make you feel? What does it tell you? Um, maybe they have not heard about Japanese. That's why I'm here to tell to those people, like, look, there is somebody called Japanese also who has suffered for last 20 years. 
and if you are fighting this for humanitarian ground then please come forward and help my mother also that's the message i want to send out because my mother is innocent she is not a terrorist she is not a criminal she is not a gangster she is just a mother the very simple and domesticated housewife that doesn't know the outside world the very namazi and cooking is the only way of life for her children her world revolves around her daughters that's the life she has always known ma'am you you know you studied the details of this case uh, no doubt in your struggle over the last many years uh, you ha have of course you know gotten yourself acquainted with the case and you know the accusations against several of the people involved do you believe that sanjay dat deserves clemency does he deserve to be pardoned i cannot comment on that i'll tell you why i'm asking you that question the reason i'm asking you that question is because there is a popular perception ma'am and you just mentioned it yourself that your mother's you know the accusations and allegations against your mother were far less of a far less serious nature than those yes, against yes, sanjay dat given those facts do you believe yes. that he deserves to be pardoned i don't know what to say i will not know but i can say one thing that if he can get pardoned then why not the other why not my mother have you had a chance to speak to any of the people who have uh, you know come forward to uh, call for you know a pardon of sanjay dat have you Uh, had a chance to speak to them or you want to speak to them what would your message be yeah i have been i have been watching all his uh, tv shows and uh, i have heard mr manish for the one of the tv shows so I, in fact they only have approached him as one of them in the social activist he is always stood up for the right of the minority so i have just gone to him to put forth my mother's case and he really sympathized with me and told him the facts of the case and how it happened and how my mother was convicted and how the only evidence against her is just the confession of a co-accused but there was no recovery from her house there was no confession of my mother and still she was convicted on the charge but others having much more evidence their weapons were recovered they went away with a letter of his and my mother Ma'am, I want you to take us through, you know, the trauma of what you felt. You know, you've just told us in a very honest manner that your mother is not a terrorist, she's not a gangster, she's not a criminal, she's just a mother and a homemaker, and she has no idea of what happens on the outside. Just take us through the trauma of what what you the, the trauma you went through as this panned out, as your mother was arrested. Just describe to us what really happened. I can tell you only one thing. I'm so. so scared that the court has given four weeks time to surrender if she is taken away from me i have nothing to look forward in life i have sacrificed my life for my mother because i know she is innocent i have sacrificed my life to get justice for her because i know my mother has not done anything and meet my mother you can't just take her take her away and put her behind bars at the age of 70 she has such swelling in her leg leg She has to be on a solitary diet. Who's going to look after her over there? And if something happens, who's going to care about her? I will lose my mother. She's all I have. You can't take her away at the age of seventeen. You can't take her away from me. I can't think of living in that house where I've lived with her for last forty years. She's all I have. She's not a terrorist. She's just a mother. Don't do this to her. She doesn't deserve it. She really doesn't deserve it. Ma'am, how has your mother reacted? Uh, I I I feel for how you're what you're going through right now, and this is definitely a difficult time. Which is why I once again say we appreciate that you're speaking to us so honestly. But how has your mother reacted to all that's been happening over the last few days? You know what she said? She said, "I'm already 70 years." I told my mother, "Don't worry, we will you know find some way. We'll still you know get you out of this." So she said, "Beta, I'm already 70 years." You have finished your life fighting for me. We have not got justice. Well, I hope Allah gives me. Much more that I am, I shall go. At least you will be free. You can lead your life the way you want. Because of me, even you are getting stuck in this case for last twenty years. But I am sure I have. I still have faith left in the judiciary. I am sure. I am sure she will be acquitted. She will be pardoned. Something will come her way. I have full trust in my Allah. because she is innocent she has not done this maybe she has suffered because of bad luck sheer bad luck 
बदनसीबी जिसको बोलते हैं बट शी इज इनोसेंट स्टिल हैज फुल फेथ इन आर अला की कुछ मेरेकल होगा You're saying she still she has faith. She hasn't this. given up. She's you're saying that she still has faith, even in her no, conversations with you. She has up. faith. I haven't given up. Yes, for two days I was shattered. I thought for I thought this is the end of the road. Now she has to go behind bars. But you know, in fact, when all this support started pouring in for Sanjay Dutt, I I gathered all the strength. I said, no, this is not the end of the road. There is hope. Something can be done. She can. I mean, I can still get her out of this. So in fact, all this has. of sanjay das has shown me a way that i can i has i still have a chance to save my mother what is your next step going to be ma'am what is your next step i will of course i will file a, for review and i hope the judiciary against review her case and of course i will also try for pardon let's see but i need support i need i need help i can't do this loan ma'am but you concede that your mother did Cause... keep a weapon in the house your mother was in touch with abu saleem and she did keep a weapon in the house no 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 she didn't keep there was no recovery from my house you can pick up her case file and see there was no recovery from our house at all but no she was in touch she was in touch with a terrorist called abu saleem uh, uh during, no. before the 1993 mumbai blast no no abu salim was just a real estate agent whom we had come to know because of some property dealings you should just drop in to a house if he was coming that side of the house to show some property to somebody that's how and that's how much we knew him he's become a gang- gangster now he has a big name now after 20 years those time he was just a normal common ordinary real estate agent nothing else okay because what the case file says is the weapons that sanjay that discarded uh, those weapons were kept in huh. your in your mother's uh, custody briefly now if sanjay that no. can no. hope to get away with an arms act case shouldn't your mother also according to you then if at all have only an arms act case and not a tada case i think i think you know if no recovery was made then my mother should have just been acquitted not even arms act not even tada okay but your mother deserves the same kind of leniency you hope uh, that that uh, you know people like justice karju or or the bollywood fraternity is uh, uh, hoping for sanjay dat leniency for sanjay dat but nobody is talking about your mother what is your take on that exactly yes they, they should they should they should take up my mother's case also ma'am you know there is a there is they a view there is a view that you know uh, uh, you've committed the crime now do the time i'm not talking about that pertaining to your mother but you're pertaining to sanjay that a lot of people are critical of this view that you know anybody should ask for a pardon since the case has gone through the judicial due process the supreme court has observed on it and therefore it shouldn't be questioned at this time so do you think lots of people think this entire pardoning business is very inappropriate what do you think now see if you can ask pardon for sanjay that who's 52 53 i don't know my mother is 70 years old she's not keeping well two years back she was operated with all due respect to the judgment of the supreme court but i'm sure on some grounds they can review her case again because of her old age because of her health problems Have you been advised legally about that given her age and given the fact that she is infirm there are any other legal possibilities has anybody come forward to help you or advise you on that Not till now Not Because till because now. you know there is a view ma'am that uh, you know even the pardoning of Sanjay he's 53 years old your mother is 70 years old huge difference between what each of them did but even the the call to pardon sanjay that a lot of people think that's in bad taste a lot of people say that's completely inappropriate perhaps even an insult to the entire judicial process and that sanjay that shouldn't be pardoned if you've been convicted do the time same goes for your mother that's the view yeah but my mother's case is totally different from sanjay that's case in my mother's case there is just one confession of a co accused that's the only evidence against her there is no recovery there is no my rabunisa's confession is absolutely nothing at least review her case again and see there is no link she doesn't know daud ibrahim she doesn't know she has never met them 
whether it is tiger may mean she has no criminal background i think all these things should be considered or case should be reviewed again okay of course the yes. supreme court uh, has upheld the conviction of your mother uh, ma'am would you take up your case uh, you know uh, justice karju was on headlines today justice karju said you bring me other cases i will consider them on on merit uh, would you would you Uh, you know he is speaking for sanjay dat will you take your case to justice karju i will try i will do that i will okay because you know he is willing to take up such cases he is taken up sanjay dat's case in the right earnest and justice karju's of the opinion that justice has to be tempered with mercy will you take a similar plea will you approach justice karju with all your pleas and say perhaps you know take up my mother's case also she is 71 uh, uh, you know and she is a namazi and 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 all that you've been saying you take it up with justice karju and ask him to perhaps uh, request uh, the maharashtra governor for clemency for your mother yeah definitely definitely but so what? some channel you know where i can i can reach the governor some channel i don't know who it will be but some source some channel where i can reach the governor and plead for mercy for my mother would you want sanjay dat and and the bollywood fraternity to also plead for your mother i mean since the bollywood fraternity is coming forward and and several political parties have come forward speaking for sanjay dat would you want them to perhaps also take up your mother's case of course why not Ma'am, what did your mother say? What did your mother say? What is her reaction to you know this entire chorus calling for the pardoning of Sanjay Dutt? What has she said personally in her conversations to you about Sanjay Dutt and people asking for him to be pardoned? She is not watching all these talk shows. She is not seeing all this. She is just sitting and praying. That's all. She doesn't know what all is happening. She doesn't even know I'm I'm doing all this uh, interviews and all this. She is not aware. She is just sitting and praying and hoping for a miracle to happen hoping that she is not taken away from her house hoping that she is not taken away from her children she is not aware of all this what have you been telling her in your interactions with her after this news came up what have you been telling her i am she is a high bp patient i'm just you know giving her hope that inshallah everything will be fine don't worry she's saying yeah inshallah that's all i'm not telling her much ma'am just a last couple of questions to you you know justice karju uh, at this time perhaps is tuning in and watching what you what you have to say he's been listening to your voice here on headlines today as are you know perhaps several others as well who have called for the pardoning of your of sanjay dat what would your message be to them tell us in detail what your message is to them i would request him to look into my mother's case also that's all i can tell i can i can request him that please please help me out please help my mother do you believe that anybody will come forward to help your mother because there is a sense that only the vvips get this kind of support in this country now mind and i'll fight this battle alone but your mother doesn't want you to fight that battle she's saying live your life you've dedicated so many years of your life to this your your mother is saying you know let me go give up you lead your life but you're never going to give up that's what you're saying no i i'm not going to give up i'm not going to give up and is this a completely lonely battle do you have me. any help from any quarters whatsoever is this completely a lonely battle for you yes it has always been a very lonely battle i have fought this battle for last 20 years all alone of course my sisters have been there for me my few friends have been there for me but apart from that i have not got any you know big support from anywhere Okay, you've been living and struggling without any support whatsoever, uh, ma'am. Just stay with me for a moment. I want to bring in our Mumbai bureau chief, uh, Sahil Joshi. He's been listening in to what you have to say as well. Uh, Sahil, given the kind of fight that Zebulisa's daughter has been through, and there's this other side that you know, if a crime has been committed, the judicial process has been gone through. There's no question of pardoning anybody at this stage, and nobody should be looking to jump onto uh, this sort of pardon gravy train. What is the sense that you're getting from all those people who've, you know, called for Sanjay Dutt's pardon? Have they even heard of Zebunisa and her daughter? See, most of the people we spoke to and most of the film fraternity, they don't even know any other 
accused who have been convicted in 1993 blast because they just know they just they just know sanjay dat and that is the reason why uh, they have been talking only about sanjay dat in fact uh, most of the high profile people who have uh, stood for sanjay dat they have also not heard about zebunsa in fact in 2007 when uh, headlines today and ask had an uh, expose about uh, how uh, zebunsa's uh, uh, case was uh, 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 fit for uh, 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 pardoning despite that uh, it went against her and uh, as she was saying right now that uh, she has been convicted for some uh, co accused statement and co accused statement it's not yes. in zebunsa statement whereas sanjay dat has been convicted on his own statement which was which was given under tada act and uh, that is the reason why everyone was surprised when uh, this judgment came but uh, uh, big, uh, but the, the celebrities which are coming forward and saying that sanjay dat should be pardoned because for 20 years he has suffered a lot and after 20 years he he, he will be going back to jail for three and half years yeah. uh, that 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 they think that it's not right and, and, and zebul nisa's case completely fit into it she's a 70 years old lady and as we heard her daughter saying that uh, she's been fighting a lonely battle in fact we spoke to uh, her lawyers they also said that they couldn't get a proper legal opinion that is yes. the reason why she's suffering today ma'am i'd like to come back to you for a you know for a quick question you know given the circumstances given the nature of the allegations against your mother against sanjay dat against some of the others if we are to talk about pardons do you believe that your mother 70 years old she's infirm she's uh, you know she struggled all these years do you believe she's more deserving of a pardon than perhaps sanjay dat or some of the others yes 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 i feel my mother is a more deserving case than any other person because she has already suffered for 20 years and her case if you compare with other cases is the best case of innocence because there is not much evidence against her she is a victim of circumstances okay you're saying she is a victim of circumstances you're very clearly saying here on headlines today that your mother is more deserving of a pardon than sanjay dat or any of the others i want to get a closing comment in from yp singh former ips officer and currently a lawyer as well mr singh what do you make of this ebunisa's daughter here on headlines today says her mother is more deserving of a pardon than sanjay dat and that the fact that there's this entire chorus for pardoning sanjay dat has given her hope but crimes have been committed what is your stand on this no uh, i think her hope is certainly logical but that won't be very consequential because the law would not permit her to seek a pardon just because certain powerful people are seeking a pardon for yeah. sanjay dat but i think the better recourse for her is to rely on prison remission rules which are rather liberal on people who have got 65 years of age and now i believe she is 70 years old that's right and uh, she has already gone substantial term of imprisonment if that is so i think under the rules if she gets a proper legal advice she can see certainly go ahead but seeking a parity with sanjay dat won't really help her because in this country there is no right. uh, law on a negative equality you can seek a positive equality and sanjay dat because of his certain pr exercise where he is getting powerful people to speak for him yes. and a person who is rich and famous and if she solicits to get a party with him i think uh, she won't be following the correct legal record i think if she follows the proper legal path she can certainly get relief all right uh, uh, zebunisa's daughter i hope that was uh, i hope that was useful as well yp singh there saying that uh, negative equality will not work positive mike since your mother is above 65 years of age it's a complicated issue on headlines today we don't take sides we get you all sides of the argument and you can decide for yourself as the viewer thanks very much to zebunisa's daughter for speaking so candidly here on headlines today also thanks to our mumbai bureau chief uh, sahil joshi and the editor gorav sabat for joining us on this discussion